A pleasant good evening to the General Secretary of the Communication Workers Unit, uh, Comrade Clyde Elder. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mikey Kian, to all on the Observer, and let me tell you for having me. It's the Secretary General, eh? not, not General Secretary. Oh, Secretary General, thank you so much. Um, well, you should be somewhat in a good mood. Uh, I mean, here it is that Ms. Agard has been replaced by Kent Weston. Uh, he was a former General Manager of Customer Experience and Marketing at TSTT. Uh, the board, of course, uh, we don't know who made this decision. We were told that there would be a thorough investigation. We were told that by the Minister of Public Utilities, Marvin Gonzalez. Also, we were told by the Prime Minister that TSTT is also expected to treat this matter as a national security threat and ensure that the public trust is restored, which is important, consumer confidence. It's preserved and handled with absolute professionalism. What say you? Has there been enough? Uh, is this basically a cosmetic move? Are we ever going to get to the real issue of what took place? <laughs> I think, I think the, the last question is in fact the, also the answer. I don't think we will ever get to the real issue of what, what has taken place or what is taking place in TSDD. I think Lisa Egan, whether she realizes it or not, she has been used as a scapegoat as a patsy. I have called for her, her termination and that has happened. I'm, I'm pleased about that. But that is not the the, the, the the all and end all of the situation. In fact, Lisa Egan is not the only one who should be fired. There are people who should be walking with Lisa Egan through the door, should be following her through the door. People like Shiva Ramnarain and Kamal Georges, they should be following her through the door. And I've said that. But I don't expect that with the government now taking this position against Lisa Egan, that they're not going to engage in any investigation. I think it's, it's a smoke screen. I think it's a way to say, okay, look, we did something to try to appease the people, make them feel they do something. And Lisa Egan is already the, the, the fall guy, or the fall girl, if you want to call it that. Um, and all of this really happened. This, this termination of Lisa really happened. Because the Prime Minister account was also out there, you know, and the Prime Minister, you know, was embarrassed, you know. If, if, if Marvin Gonzalez was not embarrassed the way he was embarrassed, and the way Lisa, and they embarrassed him, this would not have happened. The same thing would have happened without Marvin's embarrassment, and it would not have resulted in Lisa's termination. Because why? Because at the end of the day, all they care about is how they look, and they care about them. They don't care about you and me, they care about them. I'm sure that even when they would have terminated Lisa, that she didn't go home, like someone would go home with next to nothing, with nothing at all. She went with something, right? Because they care about them. And people at that high level, they always try to take care of their own, but they won't. somebody doesn't take the fault, somebody doesn't take the blame. And this regard was Lisa. And I said, I call for termination, and I'm glad that she was terminated. But others have to follow. And I agree with you. I mean, they're not sent home like the normal individual. They may have golden parachutes and terms and conditions of their contracts will never be made public. Um, so with that in mind, one has to ask, if, if this is an investigation and there's a subcommittee that was uh, set up, then is it that the board members or the subcommittee, who came up with the decision that, listen, Ms. Agard has to go and that's the end of it and that's all. Uh, and if we never get to the core issue of what took place, that information that is going to be used, and it will be used because people will purchase that information, at some point in time it will catch up to us as consumers. What then? What's our safeguard? But, 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 but Mike, I want I, I want to be able to understand eh? that Lisa Egan was not dismissed because of the result of any investigation. As a matter of fact, no investigation has started. No investigation has taken place, no investigation team has been named, nothing has been executed in terms of any investigation. She was terminated because they lost confidence in her because she made Marvin look bad. That is why she was terminated. Let's understand that. The reason why she was terminated has nothing to do with the result of any investigation. It has to do with the fact that she would have made Marvin Gonzalez look bad. I call for termination, not because she made Marvin look bad alone. I call for termination because... Apart from making the minister of public utilities look bad, she lied to the public. She and Kamal Georges lied to the public. And she and Shiva Ramnarain could have avoided what taking place had they obeyed the recommendations of the people who know about this thing. And they did not do that because as far as Shiva Ramnarain was concerned, from information reaching me, it cost him too much to do that, so he's not doing that. You understand? So Lisa was not fired because 
of any investigation. She was fired because they lost confidence in her. And there was not going to be an investigation because she has not been used as a party really. So that they will avert having any investigation and move on. That's what they'll do. That is what they, they intend yeah. to do in any event. Yeah, but comrade, the one of the largest um IT companies that provide service in this country was hacked. I mean, and, and, and don't get me wrong, I, I basically know that this is happening globally, yes, but what's happening globally, there has been some way of putting legislation and putting policies in place to make sure and safeguard institutions uh, as far as this goes. But if we simply sweep this under the carpet, it means that we will be sitting docks in the future. This will become a haven for cyber attacks. And, and you're correct. And you see, what about the, 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 the state member the Prime Minister that says that this must be treated as a national security issue? Does firing Lisa Egan means that the national security issue has been done away with and has been resolved with Lisa Egan's dismissal? The answer is no. No, don't get me wrong, I call for Lisa's dismissal. That came. I didn't call for her dismissal alone. Others must follow her. But apart from that, there are some bigger pictures that we as a country, that the government also need to look at. And as the Prime Minister said, this is a na national security issue. As you just said, what about the laws to protect the citizens, to protect data, data protection um, laws and acts and, and things like that? What about that? What about a whole number of things? What about preventing these kinds of things from happening in companies like TSD in the future? And if you can't pre prevent it because we know how these things are not foolproof, then at least you can minimize the kind of damage that is done if you put certain things in place. What about all of that? And the reason why I'm so angry with TSDT is because this is the third time they were hacked. It happened once, they do nothing. It happened twice, they do nothing. It happened a third time. Well, I hope now they do something. And that's why I'm so angry with TSDT because while everybody else are susceptible to being hacked, I accept that. This happened to TSDT twice before and they should have put more robust systems and cyber security controls in place right. to prevent it from happening at that time. And, 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 and that, that. that contradicts what the Prime Minister also said, which I think has to be a very underlining factor that needs to be highlighted. He said, of course, and restoring public trust. That public trust, having that trust as consumers, that confidence to restore that. TSTT has the responsibility to do that. Otherwise, definitely it's going to be uh, poor corporate governance and the fact that not living up to your expectations, that you have to make sure that your customer's data is protected. Now, when you take that in consideration, really and truly, no moves have been made. You're right. And if it's just a matter of some minister being embarrassed or somebody's ego being bruised, then the problem still remains it still remains a core issue. Then where do you go from here? And that is the point I'm making, Mikey. That is the point I'm making. Finally, say so guys are stepping in the right direction, but it is not the full and final resolution to the problem. Finally, it so means that, okay, you're responsible, you're ultimately responsible, not solely responsible, ultimately responsible as the head of TFCT, and therefore you have to take the fall. But it's not she alone to take the fall. Even after you do an investigation into TSDT, and one should be done, one has to be done, one must be done. What is the government? I'm going beyond TSDT now. I'm looking at the government's responsibility now. What is the government going to do? What is the government prepared to do? What is the government position? What is the government problem-solving solution for this that happened? It's not a foolproof thing that you could put in place, okay, but how do we put things in place to treat with things like this to ensure that if, God forbid, somebody steals Nike K's identity and goes out there and, uh, and, and possesses themselves to be Nike K and is not Nike K, what happens to the real Nike K and to the imposter Nike K? Yeah. Nothing is being said about that. And, and you're right about that. Comrade, I want to thank you so much for taking time out to link with us here this evening. We will be checking on you periodically and see how this thing pans out. But at this point in time, it, it really is a disappointing uh, way how it was handled. And I agree with you when you say that much more could have been done. Thank you so much again. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate that.